as you can see, I'm finally back in the film space. Um, I'm actually working on three different videos at the same time. I'm working on my True Crimes of Australia series, which if you haven't seen in the comments on that video, I did give a little hint as to who the video is going to be about, but um, I might as well say now, I'm doing Australia's most infamous serial killer, Ivan Mallard, because it's always fascinated me, I've always been interested in true crimes and all that stuff and probably doesn't help that my grandfather was really high up in the police force but because I do get very interested in true crimes and you always hear about America or England you don't really hear a lot about the Australian ones so I thought hey I'm Australian why don't I talk about cases that I grew up hearing about so that's what this series is about it's Basically, it's just looking into Australian cases and making it easier so people can learn about it. I'm also making it not with, because a lot of the details are very gory and they faze me out and I'm not one to easily get faced out. I watch a lot of horror movies that don't faze me. But it is a very dark part of Australian history and it did change a lot. And because the murders were very horrific and very, very disturbing. So I'm not going to leave out any information. I'm going to put as much information in, like the victims, how they were found, how they died and all that. And about Ivan Mark's life. The only reason I'm keeping the details in and not age restricting it is because it could be helpful to high school, college students, especially if they are covering um, like what Australia was like back then and the economy and tourism because the Ivan Malat, the backpacker murder case did change a lot and a lot about how people travelled to Australia because most people used to backpack around here. A lot of people still do but they're now more cautious. So it is a very interesting thing to look at. So that's why I'm not age restricting, why I'm not leaving out anything. It's solely because it is very educational and I feel these things do need to be talked about a lot more. So yeah, I'm currently working on that as well and I'm working on a video about this too. Um, it's basically, it's from the Wizarding World. I love the logo. I love how it's got the different ones but is calling the witches i have wanted this for so long and i finally got it at kmart for about ten dollars and so i will be reviewing this i think the details are really beautiful but i'm not going to go into that too much now so what i'm doing right now is i'm writing the script <clears throat> for the true crimes of australia backpacker murders video only because there is so much information and trying to build a cohesive timeline for everything is very very confusing as well so that's why um i was originally meant to be uploading it anywhere from saturday till yesterday but because there's so much information out there it's really hard to put it all together and i'm trying to do it as well as i possibly can and there's so much to look at there's so many sources you can look through there's so many interviews so yeah it's a lot to go through but i'm um, honestly there's things that I've read that I, ne <clears throat> that I never knew about the cases so it is very interesting to me and I'm learning more about it as I go so that's the reason why that video is taking so long and I'm posting the day in the life video where I'm just working on these videos getting scripts out of the way and got a couple of these lying around for some Harry Potter DIY videos so keep your eyes out for that and um, yeah so and so that's two videos I'm working on in one, that's this one, The Day in the Life and The True Crimes of Australia. The other one I've worked on as well is like a birthday countdown type thing because I'm turning 18 very very soon. So basically I'm just taking like a little clip of each day until then and then putting it into a video and putting like day 28, day 27, stuff like that and then when it gets to birthdays it's like really exciting. So I'm actually making a video to my around my birthday which I've never done before yeah so annoying when you're working on a script and trying to get videos up and your computer decides to do this
really bro, I have work to do. The all behind the scenes content of what actually goes into my videos. So I actually have content planners. So I write down the videos I want to do and I write down when scripts are done and when it's been filmed. And yeah, this is actually an old series that I have but I'm revamping it, Haunted History Australia. I love this stuff. Already got one script written for it. There's two other episodes up already but I just revamped it. And then a bunch of hauls that I want to do like eBay, Kmart, BW, Shein, um, Target, Darfur. So yeah. I just thought it'd be really cool to plan some of the hauls I want to do and save up for those. Food taste testing where I taste test a lot of fast food things. I might get my boyfriend in on that. Might do some by myself, I don't know yet. Depends on when social distancing ends and I can see him. And then this is the videos I have planned from, with my boyfriend. Um, the mukbangs, day in our lives, um, challenges, um, all that. And some story time and us teaching each other things. So because he's a gamer, I'm not. So I'm thinking maybe he can like teach me how to game. And because I was training to be a professional dancer for years, I haven't danced in ages, but there's some dancing clips in this video because I'm trying to get my feet back into it. But I figured maybe I could teach him how to be a dancer for a day. And I don't know how to bake. Um, when I was in high school and I tried to bake, I knew it set the oven on fire. I can cook a feast, can't bake. So I was thinking maybe he teaches me how to do that. He's never really watched all the Harry Potter movies, so gonna do that. I've never watched 8 Mile, he loves it. But yeah. I just thought that'd be really interesting and plus we did want to do a series where we went to different haunted locations. But I figured I'd do the Haunted History Australia video first and then see where people seem to like and want us to explore and then maybe try those out. And this is a script from the Haunted History series. I haven't done this video yet. When I didn't have my iPad for two weeks because the screen was broken, I just took all the time to make up content planners, write some scripts out and get things ready. Thinking that it helped me be organised when really I'm still not organised with my uploads. So this is for Hotel Collagen, which is really famous and it's in Canberra. So two pages of scripts into that. Then my honest thoughts and feelings about Crimes of Grindelwald video because I did one on the first Fantastic Beast when I saw that one. I've got both of them on disc now so that's that. And then a book club episode um, in a script, well, two pages, and it's about a really good book that I like. I, back, I actually read it back when I was in year seven, but I decided to read it again. So that's two pages on that. So that's the real behind the scenes of what goes into kind of planning a video. Computer's still doing it. Hey, it finally finished. Is that 59 before? And so right now I'm just looking through my analytics. The only real reason I kind of look through my analytics is just to see what videos people are clicking on, what um, thumbnails and titles are working for me, what tags are working, and also to see what content people think to be drawn to the most so I know what to keep doing. Because I make videos that I like, but I'm not going to keep posting them if people aren't really that interested. So I just keep an eye on it and see what people are interested in, if those videos are doing well for me, and I try to do one similar. There's a YouTuber I watch who does explain a lot of this really well, her name's Catherine Manning. I will have her YouTube channel linked down below. She's amazing. She's so beautiful. Such a kind-hearted person, my person, and she is honestly really smart, and listening and watching her videos have actually helped me to understand YouTube a little bit better. So yeah, right now that's what my analytics are looking like. They're not that good, but honestly, it's fine with me. I'm just a small YouTuber, so... I don't expect anything drastic, but it is good to just see what people are interested in and see what I, what I should keep doing, what I shouldn't keep doing, as in what's getting me a bit further ahead in terms of views. But yeah, so that's why I look at it and then I just look through comments and I reply to any and all comments as much as I can. So yeah, that's also a bit of the behind the scenes. This video is literally just a behind the scenes, what goes into my videos. 
and a day in my life. Hey, yeah. keep working on my video script because mum's taking the computer. So I'm just watching Kelly Wallace. I can go eat. Are you beautiful? Yes, you are. <laughs> I only got the puppy to take still for a photo.